Hi everyone, thanks so much for stopping by today. If you're new here, welcome, I am Mary. I am mom to four boys who love to eat, and with that, I try to give them healthy meals on a budget. Join our YouTube family and hit that subscribe button. Hello everyone, tonight for dinner, I am making this Mexican chicken and corn street tacos from the cook once, you know, we cookbook. I do not have any of the small tortillas, so I'm gonna go ahead and make some. So let's get started. You need three cups of all-purpose flour. I also have half a teaspoon of salt in here. Just put that in there. Next, I have two teaspoons of baking powder. I have one third cup of butter. And then I have eight ounces of hot water. I'm just gonna add that in, I'm gonna turn this on. I'm going to turn this on high for five minutes and let it come together. You can also do this by hand. Okay, you can see it's coming together. I'm gonna let this go for about five minutes and it looks really moist right now, but it'll absorb that liquid and it'll all come together. So, all right, let's take a look and see how it looks. That's looking nice. You can see. We are going to let it mix for about three to five minutes longer and then it will be ready to go. You can see the dough, it's nice and smooth and elastic. Now I'm going to put it in little balls. I'm going to let it rest for about 10 minutes so that the glutens can relax. So I'm just going to estimate here. Like to flatten the top out then I'll get my other hand kind of just push it up under and then I'm tucking all the extra underneath and then you just squeeze your hand to kind of close it off then you can just roll it then I'm gonna put it on the parchment and then cover it when I'm done so that it doesn't dry out so you just want to work it a little bit to get it smooth and then so underneath, I'm just pushing up basically. All right, I'm gonna finish the rest of these and I'll be right back. Okay, I have the balls all rolled out. So now I just have a damp paper towel. I'm gonna lay that over the top because we don't want the dough to dry out. So I'll just lay that right on top. And then I'm gonna just cover this up. And we're gonna put this aside for about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm gonna start prepping the other ingredients for the dinner. All right, so we are doing a kale slaw. So I just got this bag of kale. I'm gonna rinse it off and dry it off and we will make the dressing. The kale is all clean, so we're just gonna push that aside for a second. In here we have a quarter cup of avocado mayo, two teaspoons of lime juice, and then a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. Once that's all whisked, we're gonna add it into our kale and give that a stir. So once we get this all mixed together, we're gonna set it aside and let it marinate while we're cooking our chicken. And we still have to cook our tortillas. If you notice any thick stems, just pull them out. Nobody wants to chew on thick stems of kale. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. This recipe calls for corn. You can either use fresh, I'm using frozen. All right, I get this corn from Sam's Club and it is so good, it tastes so fresh. I just put a little bit of avocado oil in here. Now this step is not required in the recipe, but I'm doing it because I like to have the roasted, a little bit charred corn. We don't want it to burn. We're just gonna mix it around a little bit. Get a little bit of color on it. It adds a nice smoky flavor. That's what we're looking for. Just wanna give it a little bit of extra flavor. 
All right, we're gonna set this aside for now. In the book with the recipe, I believe it tells you to roast the chicken. I've mentioned previously in videos that I prefer to have the chicken sauteed on the stove. So we're just gonna add some of this to the pan. We're gonna add some salt. Paprika, garlic powder, and chili powder. Let that cook for a little bit. You'll see it start browning, then you can mix it up. and we are gonna move on to rolling out the tortillas. Okay, our balls are ready to be rolled out, so we're just gonna put a little bit of flour on our work surface. Grab one of our balls, push it down a little. In our rolling pin, we're just gonna put a little bit of flour on here and rub it on. Just roll it out. these out I'm gonna put it back on the parchment here I have my little helper here helping roll out tortillas it's never too early to have kids in the kitchen you can always find something for them to do my eight-year-old is such a natural in the kitchen. I started him very young, so I think that's why. He has his own channel. It's called Mr. Me. I will link it, and you can check it out. Okay, while my helper is rolling out tor tortillas, I am going to start cooking them. So I'm just going to put it in the pan. Once you start seeing bubbling, then you'll know that it's cooking. I don't have it on super high right now getting nice on the bottom and over here I have a piece of foil I can't see a piece of foil with paper towel that I'm gonna put them on when they're done so that they can stay warm and stay moist okay we're gonna just put that there I'm gonna close this up We're gonna gather all the components to make our soft tacos. So first we're gonna add in the kale. If your family doesn't like kale, you can always do lettuce with this. Kale has a certain texture and taste that not everybody likes. Next, we're gonna add our chicken. Our corn the cheese and i also cut up a little bit of red pepper i'm going to throw that on there we have it look how good they look i almost forgot the taco sauce guys and i reminded her this spicy taco sauce is so good it's from trader joe's if you haven't tried it it is not spicy at all so give it a try <laughs> it's like bigger than you are Thanks so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.